Hey y'all, what's happening? It's Miss Sunny, y'all. Y'all, I'm getting on today. Actually, this is going to be a reading here um, based on messages from the departed. This is going to be a collective reading, you all. I'm going to post this video collectively. Um, and I will entitle it so that you all will know. Uh, because I had on yesterday three souls present themselves to me while um, commuting with spirit on behalf of the Scorpio reading, which I still haven't done yet, which I'll be doing after this. But there were three spirits in particular. Um, souls of the departed, souls that are deceased that presented themselves to me yesterday. The first one we'll be discussing here um, is someone's mother. A mother came to me yesterday. Um, she came to me in sorrow uh, because she lived her life. Her entire life was a lie. There's a diary. For a lot of you, she pointed out the fact that there's a diary hidden. It could be um, in the attic or somewhere in the family home. That's very important for those of you who are seeking answers from the departed closure. These souls that present themselves to me are needing closure from the concave souls arena. These people are needing closure and they're seeking to give you closure in the earth realm, which is the main factor. And so this mother presented herself to me. There's a diary that she's wanting you to find. Um, your mother also stated that she's a lover of animals and beauty. Lover of animals and beauty. She is. Um, she was hiding, though. This could be a high-profile person. I did receive that energy from this soul. Um, that could have been trying to escape the media. Violence in the media. Um, and she was hiding the fact from her children that she was, in fact, a lesbian. She lived as a heterosexual, um, but she was a lesbian. And she kept that a secret in her entire life. And she also kept that from her children. Her main goal is to give her children uh, closure. And that closure is encased within that diary. So those of you who are looking for closure from the deceased will know who I'm talking to. Um, the deceased will give me downloads on what messages that they are wanting you all to hear. The second soul that spoke to me yesterday um, was a woman of the church, a church-going woman. And this, this soul had an affair uh, with the member of the church, one of the men of the church, um, whom she happened to be friends with this gentleman's wife. Um, one of the main, um, key points here that she wanted to convey was there is a specific fragrance that she wore. You will know exactly what I'm talking about. She did point that out, that there is a fragrance. And she did convey when your husband, whoever I'm talking to, the, the wife of the husband that violated the trust in your marriage. Um, and had an affair with another woman at the church. Sometimes when your husband came home, you could smell that fragrance lingering. Um, that soul did come back to commune and say that they are regretful, sorrowful for breaking apart your marriage. Um, the third soul that I did uh, speak to was someone's son. This gentleman was African-American or of black descent, very tall, I would say maybe about six, three to six, five, six, two to six, five, maybe. Um, but this, uh, this person, this man, whoever son this is, um, life was taken due to a bad business deal. It was in fact a bad business deal. Um, this man made a deal with someone and they had ulterior motives. And, and once again, this gentleman was tall, dark skin. And I believe the last item of clothing that he had on previous to um, 
The ending of his life was a blue hoodie and some light blue jeans. Light blue jeans and a blue hoodie. Um, this entity did present themselves to me before where I actually did see this person standing there. So this is very important. I don't put these messages on here uh, for befoolery or to uh, for a gimmick. I am on here to help people. I, the Spirit told me to post this reading for the collective so that all of you can hear these messages because people are needing closure and what's imperative are the souls that have already departed. They are deeply needing closure, right? And the closure is closure that they have not received even upon the anguish, right, of the existence of those same souls centuries after they have departed this earth realm. Um, so, once again, we have um, someone's mother, lover of animals, beauty, that was living a secret life. The diary is in the family home. Also, um, the woman of the church, you all will know if this is resonating with you, particular fragrance. Sometimes you may even smell that fragrance walking by, or memories of that fragrance. But the secret was she was having an affair with your husband the entire time you were going to that church. Okay? And this woman is showing up in a lot of regret, sorrowful at the end of her life, even still as her soul roams about um, centuries after that soul has been departed. And then once again, someone's son, 6'2", I would even say six feet to 6'5". Dark skin, last items of clothing, light blue jeans, dark blue hoodie, tall. This entity is angry um, because they made a bad business deal. It was an unfortunate circumstance. Um, I'm going to pull some cards here to commune with these souls. Um, concave souls are going to connect me to the souls that have presented themselves to me by way via uh, the spirit realm. Souls of the departed, I would connect to you at this time. I would deem it so and demand it so that you would enter into my energy waves, that you would enter into the intellect of my spirit in order to convey this message. Spirit, talk to me about um, the mother that loves animals and beauty, flowers, loves flowers, planting, gardening. Talk to me about this mother that held the diary. Yeah, what did I say? For those of you where you know this is your mother, this has been buried pain for her. Buried pain, keeping that secret alive for years, for her entire life. It was a time when um, the consideration of the LGBTQ community, LGBTQ plus community, what have you, was not acceptable. And she had to live a lie. Okay? And she experienced a lot of pain because of this. Okay, and she's wanting you all to know her children specifically. Um, and she wishes to not lie about this. This is plaguing her soul, even now, as she is departed, living behind this lie. Very pain, okay? Very pain. Mm -hmm. This um, And her soul would be released from this pain upon getting this message out. That's why it was imperative to get this message out to you all. Spirit talk to me about um, the woman of the church. Woman of the church had an affair. You know who you are. Speak to me at this time. Connect to my spirit. What messages do you want to convey? What message do you want to convey, please? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, need your energy to survive. 
So this is important here. Working together. Some of you, whoever I'm speaking to that has this, um, that, um, you know exactly who I'm going to be talking about, collective. You'll remember that fragrance. But this person was depending on your energy. The woman of the church, they were depending on your energy. And they pretended, she pretended, that's what she wants you to know. She pretended to be your friend, pretending to need your expertise, pretended to be really working together with you in the church, working together in the community. And that was all a hoax, just to be able to get near your husband, okay? Just to be able to continue to have an affair for years with your husband, okay? I can feel the anger coming from the collectives who are identifying with me in the spirit at this time and are hearing what I'm saying. This person wants to convey that they did this because this person was lost and they were looking for attention to feel their own pain, okay? Um, what else for I need your energy to survive? Woman of the church. Soul of the woman of the church, please. Victory. Yeah, this was about winning. This woman was in competition with you secretly, okay? This soul wishes to let you know that. That they're regretful for competing with you for your own husband. Not only competing with you for your husband collective, but competing with you for your energy. An energy leech. This woman of the church. Backsliding. Backslitten. Woman of the church. That was having an affair with your husband and depending on your energy, watching your every move, deciphering your next move, watching what you did in the church, watching how you maneuvered in the church, all of these things to take on your identity, to be more appealing to your husband. That's exactly what took place. I am getting anger and this soul, I do feel is angry because they did not get what they wanted. I'm getting this anger from this soul. Angry because they still didn't get what they wanted, which was your husband. And to take over your identity. Disconnect me from this soul. Uh, connect me spirit to the soul of the sun. 6-2. Last item of clothing. Light blue jeans. Dark blue hoodie. Made a bad business deal. What do you wish to say? Third eye. There's something that they that um that this young man did not see here. Okay, and this is the regret that this soul is facing. That they're wishing that their third eye could have been open. That they could have used better judgment when making this business deal, uh, business deal with this person that was seeking ulterior motives. It could have happened here after a divorce. Yeah. Yeah. And I saw this, and that's interesting because when I was talking to this song yesterday, checking and savings came out. Um, and here's checking again. There's something. There's money, okay? This is what this soul wants you to know. There is money that is still available to this person's family that you are unaware of. That's what's going on. What else do you have to say? Spirit also disconnect me from the soul of um, the mother. Disconnect me from the soul of the mother. Disconnect me from the soul of the a woman of the church. Realign me with the soul of the son, 6-2. What do you wish for your family to see or whoever you're thinking about that you're wanting and seeking to give closure to?
victim of abuse, hmm. grief. Yeah, I just got a really sad. This is a sad soul, sad. And this this young man died young too. I would say um, I'm really getting the energy of 30s, not 20s. If it's the 20s, it would have to be late 20s, 28, anywhere. We'll say 28 to 40. 28 to 40. Mm. They're having a hard time getting over the pain of being the, a victim to the vitriol, right? Faced even upon death, right? There was a lot of gossip about this person that caused the family to not even be able to grieve. That's why grief came up in the reverse. This person's family came under a deep subjection due to other parties, third party influences. And we're not talking about a hookup or sex right now, of course. We're talking any type of attachment. An attachment in this person's energy, there was a, an attention seeker, ulterior motives, <clears throat> someone who was playing them for a. Um, Purpose behind closed doors, playing them for their money. Okay? And this person turned out to be a bad person. This person could have been dating a woman here. I'm getting that energy from this soul. Dating a, a woman, a female here, that ended up only being an attention seeker. And your son told this female that it was over. He was done. And that's when everything broke out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what your son told her. He was not going to be her side dude. He was not going to allow her to use him for his money. They had a big blowout about this. He was not going to allow her to use his money. Um, And that's when the time ran out. Her time was out. Okay? And this person is deeply invested. This is what this, your son wants you to know. For those who know who I'm talking about. Who have suffered um, the death of their son. The grief of their son here. Okay? They want you to know that this person they were dealing with. Whoever the last woman that your son was dealing with. Is responsible for. And I won't say fully. But at least partially responsible here. For this, um, for what happened to your son here. And that's why third eye is open here. This is what you are not aware of. And there is still access to your son's money in this person's hand, okay? So I just need you all to know that. Okay? Okay, collective, I'm going to let you all go. Um... And I'm going to get ready to go ahead and do the reading for Scorpio here. But um, I definitely wanted to give these messages from the souls of the dead, souls of the departed that are trying to give you closure. Uh, I am going to entitle this video that. Um, this is a very serious matter because people definitely are needing closure. Okay? And souls of the dead need the most closure. And I don't think uh, humans that are living in a humanistic earth realm experience understand the dimensions and levels of the spirit realm. That's why I have to explain most of what I'm talking about. Souls that are um, of the dead that have escaped this earth realm here um, need the most closure. One might be asking why. Okay, they would need the most closure because the closure that they so needed while they were living in the earth realm was not given to them and closure to the deceased is more so of telling their truth, okay? Giving their truth to those that they love, okay? Um, that's what the deceased... And a lot of times, you'll have souls that are angry. You know, they're all... Souls of the dead have feelings just like souls that are existing on this earth realm, okay? 
But the main thing is they seek to give the closure to this earth realm that they deem fit, okay? Whether that be a good experience, a bad experience, or everything in between, okay? But the important part is the closure that you get from communing with the dead, okay? I'm going to let you all go, uh, Collective. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Love unlimited to you all on your magnificent journey. Of course, above all, choose today to love yourself mercilessly. Let no devil, no man on this earth, nothing stop you from becoming the ultimate version of who you truly are. And that can only be attained and acquired through the divine. If you are listening to me today, this would be the hour that you wouldn't take those pills to end your life. This would be the hour that you would give up on the dependency of the opinion of others. This would be the day that you would let no one tell you that you are not worthy. This would be the hour, the very definitive hour, that you would turn your back to the devil and never return. This would be the day that you would realize the maximization of your potential is already in your spiritual womb. And allow that to uh, marinate within you and allow it to come to fruition. Stop keeping yourself down, people. Okay, I don't know who needs to hear this message, but stop keeping yourself down. And what I mean by that is when you allow anything or anyone to disrespect, dishonor, and devalue your worth, what you have therefore done is you have given up on you, okay? The power is within your womb, okay? And for those of you who are suffering through spiritual pain right now, the loss of a loved one, people deserting you, giving up on you, betraying you. I'm tired of seeing it really in these readings, okay? People disrespecting, dishonoring, and completely destroying other people's lives, okay? This is what's happening in America and all over the world, okay? But you have to remember that pain is the antidote to purpose. Okay, and the enemy of pain is the sojourning soul in review. What do I mean by that? That the sojourning soul would have an opportunity to facilitate and meet themselves at the precipice of existence. What do I mean by that for a philosophical understanding? What I'm saying is that you would take your soul and meet the divine in the faces of the deep. You would allow yourself to immediately extract the identity of vanity out of your soul. What do I mean by vanity? The things you are telling yourself as though they were your reality. What do I mean by that? You limiting your potential based on an experience of the earth realm. What am I doing if I am limiting my reach based on this earth realm existence? It means that I am succumbing to the atmosphere. Folks, the atmosphere in the earth realm does not possess the ability to give you the air that you are breathing. Okay? I need you to understand this. It would be God alone that would have the last say. It would be God alone who would be Alpha and Omega as God will always be. It would be God that would shine a light so bright that it would close your entire identity. You would no longer exist in this earth realm. Do you understand what I'm saying? This would be the hour that you would not sell your soul to the devil. Because if you sell your soul to the devil, what have you in fact? I would ask the collective, what do you have when you sold your soul to the devil? Tell me a time when you had a conversation with the devil and you were prosperous because of it. Don't let illusions fool you, lest you be privy to the naivety of your own soul. Keep an eye on your own soul. Not keep an eye on your closest friend. Keep an eye on the enemy of you which would be ultimately your own soul. 
Okay? So I would ask of you today that this would be the moment that you would not give up on you. No one living and breathing has the right or the will within themselves to look you in the eye and tell you that you don't matter. How dare someone say that to you? How dare someone disrespect and dishonor your worth? That's, those are the questions you need to be asking yourself as soon as you wake up in the morning. Okay, collective? If someone is not treating you right, they don't deserve you. If someone is not talking to you right, they don't deserve you. If someone is not respecting your energy, your space, they don't deserve you. Okay, let's go down the list. Okay, people? But the matter of me saying this is not about situational results. This is about your very life. And recognizing the fact that no matter what you do, whenever you choose to do it, how you do it, who you entertain, where you go in life, none of these issues would account to you being unworthy. He who is without sin, please stand up and cast the first stone. No one living on this earth realm will be able to. So I'll leave you all with that. And for anybody judging you all out there, don't even respond. Silence is enough. Because you don't have to defend your worth. People, collective, hear me clearly. You don't have to defend your worth. You came into this earth realm worthy. Okay? So I really need you guys to hear that. I really do. Because what I, what I really can't stand... Is when the devil believes that he has enough power to intertwine himself in the cells of your DNA and intertwine himself in the very veins that you are pumping. What I detest is the devil. And whoever is watching here that is allowing the enemy to operate inside your body as a host, get thee behind me, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And whoever it is that you all choose to believe in, I will stand on what I'm saying. But I give you the respect and the space to believe in what you believe. But what I'm saying is standing on the fact that you matter. You are powerful. You were made to create. You were made to live a dream. And I can promise you that the dream that you have will certainly fall short of the dream that the divine had for you upon you entering this earth realm. And I'll leave you all with that. I love you all. Love unlimited to you all. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions or if you need further information or if someone needs a personal reading to connect with their loved one, okay? Your loved one, if they showed up in this reading for you, please contact me, okay? Um, I would like to know how I can help. And I would like to know how I can assist you in healing your pain. This is very important work to me, okay? So, um, you all reach out to me if you have any issues or if you have any questions or concerns, okay? Collective, I love you all and I'll see you all in the next reading.